family back with another download it is quality not quantity when you are spending time with holy spirit uh, i know you've heard many people say you need to fast this amount of days or you need to pray or meditate this amount of time you need to assume this certain posture or you need to uh, do something specific okay but what is important to remember, so family, is that as you are maneuvering through your union with Holy Spirit and your spiritual awakening journey, you're, be, you're coming online with that union. It is um, quality, not quantity. It is not the length of time that you spend with Holy Spirit. It's the quality of the time that you spend with Holy Spirit. Okay. You may not always have three hours to meditate or to pray, all right? You may be in a space where um, the week that, let, I'll just use this week, this might not be a good fasting week for you. You may take certain medications where you require food. It, it, all kinds of things can happen to, you know, throw a monkey wrench in that fasting uh, ritual or that fasting routine that you have. But remember this, everything you do in regards to your uh, spiritual awakening journey, okay, your union with Holy Spirit, that communion time, it is quality. So if you wake up early in the morning, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you wake up an hour before you get the kids up, or even if you're single, wake up an hour before, you know, I get ready to run out and do all the things I need to do, go to work, whatever. And you spend 15 uh, to 30 minutes, may, may even be 20 minutes. Some days it may be 10 minutes. Some days it may be 10 minutes because you may need to get out earlier. And you sit with a focus, okay? Sitting still coming in with gratitude, all right? Thankful for the presence of Holy Spirit and waiting for instruction, all right? Setting at course your day with those intentions or affirmations, or scriptures, whatever you use for that day. I like giving you practical ways to do things, okay? 10 minutes with Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, all right? It's gonna be just as effective as an hour when you're not holding that focus, okay? Because it is the quality. It is what you put in it, okay? I, I just do not, I am a firm believer because I've uh, done fasting for many years, um, praying meditation, times that I've shut in, all kinds of things that I've done um, but I've learned over the years, it is the quality that I give in my communion with Holy Spirit. Just because somebody is meditating or praying for six hours doesn't mean they're going to be more powerful. You know, you, you may get the same amount of downloads as another individual <laughs> in that six hour time as somebody that spent 10 minutes. So don't get caught up in time because I hear a lot of people say, I just don't have time. Sure you have time. Sure you have time because it doesn't require a lot of time. All right. It doesn't. And it, it, you just add 10 minutes on the top of your day when you are the most alert. I do encourage you not to uh, try to come in communion with Holy Spirit when you're exhausted. You want to be alert. Okay. You want to be physically alert. And you want to be able to pull in those downloads as Holy Spirit is speaking. Okay? But don't focus on, I don't have a lot of time. You don't need a lot of time. Okay? And that is not, Holy Spirit didn't give you that requirement. Most of that requirement is picked up in the environments of learning that we have been in. Start with where uh, you can fit it in. And make it a daily practice, even if it's only 10 minutes in the morning. You'll find that when you start getting in communion with Holy Spirit, you'll create a space. And that time will automatically start extending. Okay, but don't get frustrated when you don't have an hour to pray or an hour 
to meditate. Start with 10 minutes. Start with 15 minutes. You may have 30 minutes one day. Sometimes on Saturdays, I do a long uh, prayer meditation, you know, two or three hours. Sometimes I do that because I have the time. I'm not at work. I'm off. <laughs> or I just feel the prompting of Holy Spirit to come in and my day is cleared out. That's okay as well. You won't always have a lot of time daily, but whenever you can get it in, get it in. And my three hours is not more important to Holy Spirit than your 10 minutes. I want you to understand that. Okay, understand that. We're all in this thing together. We're all in this union with Holy Spirit together. We're all pulling in those spiritual downloads. Do something daily and create a space for communion. And I'll see you on the next download. Toodles.